All right, turning now to the latest from the fight against those three plants using a cancer causing chemical to sterilize medical equipment. The companies came under fire during the hearing at the state capitol. We don't need to wait until someone dies and then we try to figure it out. Lawmakers were not happy that neighbors near the sterogenics plant in Cobb County and the BD plant in Covington were not notified immediately after leaks at the facilities. Now, meanwhile, another plant using cancer causing ethylene oxide in South Fulton is in the crosshairs of state officials as well. During today's hearing, we learned sterilization services of Georgia is working to upgrade its air vents to prevent future leaks of ethylene oxide where people live nearby. The state EPD says it can't shut down the plant because it's operating within the law. Okay, so both plants, they spew out the same kind of gas, right? One is shut down, but the others are still operating. So we wanted to know why. So that's why we sent our Ryan Kruger to find out the differences. Yeah, so one Cobb County official told me really the only reason Sterogenics is closed in Smyrna is because the county was able to find a loophole. It doesn't appear a similar loophole exists in Covington. BD is firing back at the state of Georgia after the state environmental protection division said on Wednesday they were deeply troubled by the latest news of cancer causing toxins in the skies around Covington. On Thursday, the company said they were surprised and deeply concerned about state regulators setting up a stalemate that has worried some community activists. We need to make sure that there's no more carcinogens emitted into the air period. There are other methods that they could be using for sterilization and we're just asking that they do whatever they need to do to make that happen. Let's look at the differences between Sterogenics in Smyrna and BD in Covington. Sterogenics voluntarily closed down in late August to start installing new technology to limit emissions. BD says they won't shut down, saying there are no risks that would require them to stop working. While Sterogenics was closed, Cobb County discovered the plant was using a permit that was outdated by decades and that the facility didn't meet code. That's keeping that plant closed for now. Meanwhile, city officials in Covington admit they are powerless to shut down BD. Any action to shut down that facility would have to come from the governor or lawmakers. We also want to make sure that our state legislators are um, making changes. They need to do propose some bills that can help protect our people. And I also reached out to the governor's office today. They tell me he is setting up a task force to start looking into this issue.